Hi, I'm Ricky Martin, Academy Manager at Norwich City Football Club. Welcome to Colney for today, an insight into an Academy match for Everton. We're now in the uh, main building of the Academy, and this is the reception area, the hub of uh, the building where everyone comes in every day. Um, and from here, we can go down to the, uh, the coaching offices or behind into the physio room. So follow me now and I'll take you into the physio room. Here we have the uh, physio staff office and this is where they do their day-to-day -day operation from. And here we've got the physio, players preparing, getting ready for the game. Uh, for strappings and treatment, just getting ready for their last minute preparation before the game kicks off at 11 o'clock. So, uh, we're now moving down into the building and we're in my office here, this is where I'm based along with Ali Coleman. My, my academy administrator and this is where we also hold our meetings and internal staff meetings and where I, I, I base my uh, my day-to-day -day work. We're going to go down the office now and next office we're going to see is Neil Adams, the under-18 coach for today in his uh, final preparation doing his admin work before the game kicks off. Morning Neil, you okay, you alright? Very right. well. One or, two, one or two changes today, Rick, with the uh, with the team. Four four one one today. We just had a, a late call off of the uh, someone with an injury. Right. So we've had to change it about a bit. Sit just on the set plays, but we're going to start out at four four one one. Yeah. But when the two centre backs get the ball, we're going to try and press them a little bit higher than normal with the wide players pushing on as well, just to try and stop them playing out. Because they played out a lot against us up there. Okay. Had a lot of joy in this half of the pitch. So. Looking for us today to be to be more like that, ready to react, ready to press in, stop them in fifth place, second forward to get the ball. And what was the game like down there early in the season? Uh, they, they, they beat us 4-2 and they scored with a late goal when we were pressing for an equaliser, but their, their main strength was the left winger, who, looking at the team, she isn't playing today. Okay. Um, he was tricky, he'd come inside onto his right foot, he could go on the outside of his left foot, so uh, he's not playing today. But they had a lot of strength in here, they had players who were prepared to come and get it. Two, they played like a two and a one in there, yeah. and they had good bits of rotation to get on the ball, and especially from these areas as well. So, so reason behind our game plan today is stop these being allowed the time to just pop it simply into there. So yeah. we're looking for front foot pressure from the front players and those midfield players as well. So there's two ways to play that, either a high press or a yeah. drop off. Which yeah. way are we going today? Well, we went drop off up there and it didn't really work. Like I said, they had too much joy for me. So we're looking to go and apply more pressure to these players in here. And if they do manage to get it into these midfield areas, to be tight, to be closing down with a high back foot. Yeah. So all our lines being compact, yeah. playing higher up the pitch. And today. preventing, and the, the final thing we've said today as well, from looking at the DVD of the last game, is when the ball was this side of the pitch, we tended to be quite spaced as a midfield unit. Yeah. So as it's, we've said now, it's on that left side, we need to slide over as a team. Yeah. And those two, those back four, those units at the back. Uh, yeah. And obviously it's transferred them, we're looking for the team to slide across as a midfield and as a back four as well, to just stop Everton being able to play those passes between players, yeah. the centre forwards who would like to come get in there. If we're more tighter, we'll encourage it that way or that way or over the top, but not be, not through us. So we're trying to just reduce those gaps in there to prevent those little slide balls inside. Good. And obviously you've got the Youth Cup game next week. Yeah, a uh, big on, game. On Wednesday, and uh, will we be playing the, the same team today? Will no, it be? There'll be a lot of changes. Um, we're trying to protect one or two today. Uh, there'll be right. a couple on the bench. Um, that squad have got a game tomorrow as well, right. so we'll have a sort of a head count Monday morning. Uh, but right. hopefully, there'll be a lot of players available for the game that maybe not feature today. Okay, good luck. Cheers, thank you. All the best today. So that's the uh, tactic side of it from the day. We're now going to go over to the changing room, see the boys prepare for the game, and then out onto the pitch for the warm up.
So we're now at the dressing room and you're now going to come in. The boys have had their team talk. They've now got their chance to prepare for the game. As you can see, they've got their music on, they have their individual space. And this is a time for them now to really start to focus, get ready prior to the warm-up. Come in. on pitch one and as you can see it's not the greatest weather today but the facilities at Colney allow us still to play our game on a fantastic surface like this today so we're very fortunate here that the academy the under 18s and 21s have got this fantastic surface to play on and hopefully for an entertaining game as you can see the goalkeepers are out first already getting ready for the warm-up and uh, the rest of the squad will be joining them very shortly So here we are now by the dugout, um, an empty dugout at the moment, but soon it'll be very uh, packed with subs and uh, the coaching staff. And this will be where Neil Adams and Gary Holt will be uh, leading and instructing the team and uh, hoping that we uh, will secure a nice victory um, in preparation for our Youth Cup next week. So as you can see, the dugouts may look familiar to some UK Canary fans. These are former uh, dugouts from down at Carrow Road and part of the refurbishment at Carrow Road has meant that these dugouts have moved up here and uh, now sit on the place on the on match pitch here at, uh, at Colney. So uh, thank you for today and uh, I look forward to seeing you all down at Colney sometime in the new year.